This is the talk tonight on CBS 5. We have Jim Kenyon who spent the day near the Remington Arms plant in Ilion in the Mohawk Valley. A company that has been part of the landscape and part of the fabric of the jobs and the culture of that area for uh, nearly 200 years. 1816 they started making weapons at that plant and now with the new gun control measures passed in New York State, we have uh, folks in other parts of the country, one particular uh, person in uh, South Carolina who right. happens to be a U.S. congressman saying, come on down. Right. We love our guns and yeah. we love jobs, and so bring it. That's exactly what's happened here is a uh, uh, congressman, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, congressman, let me get his name here. Uh, Nobody here knows his exact name, so it's all right, Jim. It's, Jeff it's, Duncan, Congressman Jeff Duncan of South Carolina. I'm sorry, folks. He has uh, he sort of put this out yeah. there. Is this for show or is he serious? Uh, actually, uh, there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. I mean, at, at, at one point you would think that, okay, it's just a guy saying, okay, come on down to South Carolina. We're more gun friendly. Right. And we understand the, there's a, the, that the, the, he considers a hostile environment in New York State. Nevertheless, uh, what he has done is he's contacted the parent company of Remington Arms, which is a North Carolina-based company uh, that's uh, the Freedom Group, and uh, he is uh, saying uh, that we could, uh, we could attract you here. We're a right-to-work state. We have all these advantages. And he's also been in touch with the governor of South Carolina to try to bring them on. Now, I also talked to the mayor of Illion, uh, you know, John Stevens, and he's telling me that there are other states as well that are trying to uh, capitalize on what they see as a, a hostile environment in New York for Poach. gun manufacturers. <laughs> this is poaching to some degree, <laughs> to given, to given a, to the, degree. what they perceive as the new climate now that we uh, have the new gun control measures. The mayor of Ilion, what's at stake here? Well, what's at stake is uh, 1,300 jobs and a plant that has been part of Ilion for nearly 200 years. It was established in 1816. And also, uh, the state has a big investment in, uh, in uh, the Remington plant. Uh, the uh, Economic Development Department has uh, mm -hmm. poured about five, uh, for three to four million dollars. And, uh, and also, the village of Ilion has uh, granted uh, various uh, kinds of incentives so to reduce their energy costs. So uh, that plant is uh, really uh, an expense. Say it happened, and the people of Ilion are, f are faced with, with the prospect of, of the plant actually m picking up and moving. Are there other places to work in that small town? Can, can the town absorb that many unemployed individuals? Well, that, that's very doubtful. Uh, you know, it's the Mohawk Valley, uh, and, uh, and I'm talking to people that, uh, that live around there. I mean, there, there are, there's entire generations that grew up around that plant. Yeah. In fact, that plant is in the middle of Italy, and, and the entire village is built around, around it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, you know, where those uh, people are going to go, uh, it's, it's anybody's guess. But... Um, we're seeing a situation here where uh, right after the Newtown Massacre, you know, the uh, Remington makes the Bushmasters. That was, Bushmaster, used, by that the was used by the killer there. And immediately after the Newtown Massacre, the buyout company that owns Freedom Group, which owns Remington, this is called uh, Cer Cerber Cerberus uh, Capital Management, mm. according to the Wall Street Journal, decided to uh, get out of this business and put this thing up for sale. So there's any number of possibilities that could make it's, this a natural volatile. reality. Yeah, but it would be unwise to, to think that all of the weapons, all the, even the Bushmasters that are made at Remington, are all sold in New York. I no, mean, oh, no, as a matter of fact. They can the, be shipped to other states. Yeah, and the mayor is telling me that uh, that plant is busier now. They can't even keep up with demand because of wow. all the uh, talk of gun control. Wow. Jim Canyon, thank you. This is The Talk Tonight on CBS 5, and we'll be right back.